Hey all, Trevor here with Right of the Leaf, and I've got the Sativa Dominant One Hitter Read Review coming right now. Sit down. Sit down. Hey guys, so I've got some Island Honey from Pure Sun Farms today for the Sativa. It came in at 15.3% for THC, no notable CBD on there. And it was packaged on the 6th of February in 2020. Um, this is actually one of the first times I've heard of this strain when it came into the shop. I'm actually kind of interested in the little bit of research I've done on it. So Island Honey with a high THC potential, our Island Honey was created on Vancouver Island by way of the Kootenays. A sativa dominant hybrid, it's crossed between a select pheno of the Jack Hare the Northern Lights and Shiva Skunk Cross from BC Interiors with the Early Pearl. That's also a sativa dominant strain known to thrive in the cool climate conditions of the island. Under a carpet of milky trichomes, leaves range in color from bright fern to deep emerald green. Tangled with delicate amber pistils, Island Honey offers aromas and flavors of sweet spices, honey, and lemon curd. So the top four Effects that are felt after smoking this are happy, focused, calming, and pain relief. The top four activities that are used for is watching TV, socializing, listening to music, and cleaning. The top method of consumption is via the joint, and its scents are sweet, earthy, and citrus. I'm really interested to try this out because I like the high of the Jack Hair. just wasn't a big fan of the flavor. Um, the spice just, it, it doesn't do much for me. And that early pearl, I haven't heard of that strain before, so we're going to crack into this, get the herbage skill going, and see how this bud turned out. Hey y'all. So, for the look and aroma, these buds actually are giving me quite a strong... Flavor. It actually reminds me quite a bit of the honeycomb cereal. Um, kind of that low, really light smell of the honey. And then definitely more I don't I don't want to say hay, because it's not really hay, but more that kind of weedy bread yeasty kind of a smell. I definitely got a little bit more of the spice before I put the hydro packs in this. And now with the hydro packs in there, I'm not catching very much of that uh, kind of spiced flavor, that mulled kind of spice flavor. I'm like the, I would say this smells like honeycomb cereal. Bang on. Like that's, that is every time I take a smell, that's what I'm imagining I'm smelling. I'm going to have to give it a four to a five for that. And here, let's pull out one of the bigger nugs so you guys can take a look. These nugs are actually really, really nice, big, leafy. Here, let's get that. Yeah, there's two nugs there. And they're just big, airy, very sativa-looking nugs. Huge amount of crystal in them. <coughs> really, really fresh-smelling definitely very moist again those moisture packs helped out a lot i'm really interested to seeing how this tastes hey guys so i've got the vape packed up and once i had this bud busted up it's got a lot more of an orange aroma coming from it like a spiced mulled orange it's very unique i still get that honey i still get that sweet but there's that orange flavor that's really interesting and really something I'm looking to find out and see if I can find when I'm smoking it. Cheers, y'all. First taste, I'm definitely getting a little bit of that honey. Nothing overwhelming, just little hints of it yeah 
Nothing that has me real excited. We're going to bump the temperature up and see if it tastes any better there. Because it's, it seems like that first one, you just kind of get hints. And it's usually a little bit of a unique flavor, but nothing overwhelming. Um, the God Bud and the Berry Bliss did really well at this 205. I'm curious to see if the Island Honey will continue. Um, only way to try it. Cheers, y'all. A little more woody. Definitely has some honey to it. Nothing overwhelming, though. Sips and hints, but nothing screaming flavor. And that's, that's a disappointment, honestly, is because I thought this would have... I thought I'd be able to find that orange flavor that I was able to pick up in the smell, but I'm just not. Yeah, it's just not there, you guys. It's disappointing. Yeah, it's you get that hint of the honey sweet, but not necessarily the honey flavor. And just real light sips of the um, woody flavor but nothing nothing overwhelming it's it's disappointing to say the least let's try it at the 220 the highest we've got see if it's any better there I'm getting more of like the charred sugar kind of flavor at this. A little bit of the wood, but a lot of like that honeyed kind of charred sugar. And it's, I can only give this a three out of a five. Doesn't have anything that turned me away. But it definitely doesn't have anything that's got me that want wants me to keep smoking through this vape like it's just meh like i'm i'm ready to put this down and switch over to the bong you guys i'm just gonna we're just gonna do that take one more pull see if there's anything different nope time for some bong rips hopefully it tastes better than the vape because I am very, very disappointed with that. We're going to start off with this one, though, for Taste from a Bong. We're just going to slide right into it because I need to improve on that flavor from that vape. And it's just, like, it's there's nothing turning me away. It's just, meh. Like, it's disappointing. Definitely, definitely a little disappointing. We've got the first bowl packed up. We're going to smoke our three bong rips and see how it tastes through there. Cheers. Hey guys, 
So, I'm only going to be able to give this a 4 out of a 5 for the taste from a bong. It was <laughs> really, really enjoyable in the first two bong rips. The last one hit with that jack hair kind of spice. And it, it honestly turned me away a little bit. A little bit, but not completely. It's going to get its 4 out of a 5 because through the smaller bongs and the smaller bowls, it had a lot more sweet and a lot more almost citrus kind of um, of a taste to it. And I think that spice matched with the sweet of the honey. Because I, I did get a little bit of the honey in the Kush rig, but not quite so much in the, uh, in the smaller single um, Cyclone Perk rig. I got a lot more of the honey flavor there and kind of a spiced, kind of a citrus spiced taste afterwards. It, that was really, really enjoyable. And then through the Kush rig, it had a lot more of the citrus kind of flavor and then through the genie the big one it had a lot of the spice and the spice hit with some definitely some force i was coughing quite a bit harder through that one but it wasn't unpleasant like the jack hair is just too spicy i just i'm not a big fan of it i'm gonna have to give this a three out of a five for the taste from a pipe it has a couple of things that kind of that make you go, ooh, that's, it, like, it hints a little bit at the honey that gives you kind of that, ooh, um, kind of a sweet flavor to it. And then after that, you kind of get a flavor of the spice, but none of them hold. It just kind of goes into a bland, kind of mug, muggy, musky tasting, um, like, resy aftertaste. And it's not enjoyable, but it doesn't, turn me away from it it's just not something i would enjoy smoking out of the pipe that often it's meh and it's it, i can only give it a three out of a five when you just get that kind of meh flavor the high though the high on this bud is really nice i'm only gonna give it a four out of a five it's not quite everything i'm looking for in a sativa it's a little bit more of a hybrid but it's still really nice uh, high and one that's relatively enjoyable as well um it comes up and you do get the body and pain relief right away i found um it comes with kind of a body relaxation to go with that which on the sativa side of things i'm not a big fan of and that's one of the big reasons why it's not going to get the five um, it is really clear-headed though it's definitely more of an energy kind of encouragement let's go let's go let's go kind of a bud definitely something you could smoke and get into doing something um, like this something creative or even video games it'd be nice because it'd keep you intrigued but it wouldn't give you the body pickup to go and want to do something physically active this is definitely more of a of a mental stimulation but it is really nice it's definitely something i could enjoy smoking before reading it's i could see it being a good bud for that at the same time if too much of it though i don't know i don't know if it'd be distracting if you had too much of it because i'm right in that pocket i'm re really enjoying it I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I hope those of you that are on YouTube stick around because I got a special end card just for you guys after this hoot. But for anyone else, click that follow button, click the like, and comment down below what you're smoking on. I really want to know what you guys are smoking on or what you think I should check out next. But for the time being, I'm going to smoke this bowl. Thank y'all for watching. I'll be back later with some more content. Cheers, y'all. Hey YouTube. So, when your guys' end card slides in, up in the top is going to be my logo. Click that to subscribe. 
click the bell notification too so you know when any of my videos go live videos down below one will be the most recently uploaded and the other one will be the most recommended for you click on either one of those I think you guys will enjoy them both don't forget to like and comment down below what you guys are smoking on for the time being <coughs> gonna be all I have for now cheers y'all I'll be back later with some more content